Okay. I'm Adam Hummel uh, from the Zichovets Brewery in Czech Republic. What, when did the brewery start and why? So uh, we are now in the second brewery we built. Uh, we started uh, 2012 in a village called Zichovets, but like after four years, it's become too frequent. We've become too big for a village. So we've moved to Lone, which is like a regional city in the northern part of Czech Republic. And there we are till now. Uh, we moved there 2016, approximately. And that's where we're based now. What kind of beer style? What's the philosophy behind the brewery? So we, we're, so our, uh, our brewing uh, philosophy is very wide. Uh, so we basically brew everything. Uh, from uh, uh, lagers, a lot of lagers, uh, to American pale ales, IPAs, a lot of New England IPAs, sours, fruit sours, pastry sours, stouts, pastry stouts, imperial stouts, wild beer. We've done one cider and we've done one wine. So uh, we're just trying what we can handle. We're lucky because we have quite a lot of people already. So there's uh, no need to specialize because there's a lot of people who knows a lot of things. What's, how much production do you do a year in beer? So in 2021, we've done uh, 9,000 hectoliters. We've been growing steadily over the last five years uh, for like 10, 20% yearly. So we expect like this year or the next year, we, like, we'll reach the 10,000 hectoliters yearly, which is the limit for a small brewery in Czech Republic, so we expect very soon we'll become a mid-sized brewery. But we believe like uh, it's not hard to stay craft if you stay true to what you do. What's the acceptance of your beers in the Czech Republic? Of course, we've all known it's pills and lagers. Has there been a development of taste over the time? Uh, have you seen uh, acceptance? Absolutely. So we've actually been the first uh, brewery in Czech Republic to core core a New England IPA, to core a New England IPA, and we've been the first brewery to core a sour a beer. So we have a passion fruit sour that's uh, available all year round for five years now, I think, four or five years. And we have a nectar of happiness uh, that's been available as a New England IPA all year round for four to five years also. So we've kind of uh, became, over the years, we've become not the innovators, but the benchmarks of the new styles. Uh, uh, because we've, we've uh, started brewing a lot of this, so we don't brew so much new beer, but people like this, these styles, or these examples of styles to return to. So that's, uh, and slowly, uh, Czech Republic is, uh, like having its revolution in craft beer. Uh, we are still a very lager-centered uh, country, obviously. It's very hard to compete with a big uh, production that's high quality. I think that's a very rare uh, in Europe, a big production that's high quality. For example, Asahi, who owns Pilsner Urquell, and affiliated, affiliated brands, it's like 54% of the market. And if you had Pilsner Urquell, you know it's like, <laughs> It's incredible how good it is in, in the amount. So it's kind of hard to compete uh, with these uh, big brands with high quality. But uh, it's, the craft beer is slowly growing and we're growing with it. And we believe there's a big future in it. You said you're recently, you, you, because of expansion, you've had to move. Are you at where you want to be or do you see a bigger future? We actually started uh, with a project of a new brewery. So we bought a lot. Uh, approximately five football stadiums. So it's a, a brewery, I think, that's gonna have a capacity of like uh, six to 10 times what we have now in the future, like the maximum capacity. Uh, we are like, uh, our, 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 uh, our idols are like the mid-sized American breweries like Trillium, Treehouse, whatever, you know, like the 60,000 hectoliter breweries that still go, do good shit. So uh, we know it's possible. Uh, we know if we get good technology, good people, it's possible. And we want to grow to be a company of at least 100 people. So we have a sustainable workforce that doesn't have to overwork itself and uh, stuff like that. That's very hard in Czech Republic. Uh, 
for reasons. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you so much for talking to the Beer Idiots, and great to meet you. Thank you for your job here, and thank you for asking really good questions.